<laughs> Check it. You know those days when you're just waiting for that package to arrive and you just kind of keep checking and checking the, the doorbell cam and it finally arrives? It's one of those days for me because inside here we have the brightest flashlight on earth. Bonafide Immolent MS18. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Good things come in heavy packages. Just forget it. Look at this box. My goodness. Stitching on it. Legit, man. Whew. Beauty. 100,000 lumens. Tame the sun. Look at these uh, nice little latches. All right. All right. Moment of truth. Oh! <laughs> Look at this mother. Look at this nice blue felt. Couple O-rings. We have our manual power adapter, good for 100 to 240 volts. Mother of all flashlights. Look at this. Look how huge this thing is. Ah, it's so massive. Oh, it's so powerful. I love it. I've been waiting for this baby for so long. 18 XHP 70. I think they're point two, so second generation. Okay, please remove before use. Can I, can I? Oh yes, I can. That feels good. All right, you wanted beam shots, you got it. I hit up a bunch of different places, and uh, just to show the different ways in which the MS-18 can actually be a very practical tool, for instance, for um, man hunting, search and rescue, if you're looking uh, over large acreages, you work on a, let's say you know, like on a ranch and things like that. The MS-18 is really invaluable. Okay, let's get right into it right now. We're gonna check out the capacity and the reach of the MS-18. I heard a crackling in the woods over there. You see the deer? Hi deer. See you later deer. Look at that, just light up the whole river. Imagine this for search and rescue. Imagine what you could see and find with this thing. It's just an immensely powerful tool for observing large areas. That's my car. That. This is unbelievable. Just that, that's just to give you a, a sense of the scale of this light. All the way down to hydroelectric dam down there. Just a ridiculous throw. I mean, those are, wow, those are 50 foot trees over there. Easily. That's my car. And then way on beyond there, there's another car, way out. Just an unbelievable search, search tool. I'll tell you, that's my car down there. <laughs> there. There's literally nothing that can hide from this flashlight. The MS-18 really is the mother of all flashlights. All right, I'm back. That was fun, eh? All right. Let's take a look at some of the specs and I'll just explain some of the ways in which this flashlight works, some of the features and um, some final thoughts on the MS-18, who it's for, who it's not for. Let's see, I have it in lockout mode. Maybe I should start with that. This flashlight is extremely, extremely powerful and you don't want kids getting a hold of it. I mean, this thing is, 
It's just a matter of time until flashlights like this become regulated perhaps. So lock this flashlight out every time you're done with it. One, two, three, four, five unlocks it. You see this um, little padlock indicates that it's unlocked. And when you press it the first time, it's going to remember the last uh, mode that you were in. So I don't even can't re remember, but it was probably high. So here we go, we'll turn it on. Okay, so right now you'll see I have it set previously at 22,000 lumens. I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, all you do is you press and you'll see the voltage changing. And that's how it works, okay? One tap turns it off, one tap turns it on, 700 lumens all the way up to 100,000 lumens on turbo. But let me just remind you, if this is a first time with high performance flashlights, you'll know that turbo mode is really a burst mode. It is not meant to sustain for a long period of time. If you want the, the highest sustain output for the MS-18 is about 20,000 lumens, which is actually still pretty epic and it can go for a full hour. And as far as the use case for the MS-18, that's what makes it most useful because you can use it for extended periods of time and still light up hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of yards around you with uh, 20,000 lumens of light for a full hour. So that's the use case for this particular flashlight. All right, one, uh, a couple things that you should note. When the flashlight is off, if you press and hold the button, you will get a little backlight. So at night, you'll be able to see the power button. Press and hold, turn it off. Tactical strobe, probably the most discombobulating thing about this flashlight is its ability to uh, shine a tactical strobe light downrange at 100,000 lumens. So you turn it on turbo, which is double tap, one, two, and then two taps again, gets you into, like, I don't know if the, I'm not sure if the cam, like I can see it through my eyelids. I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up, but it is just, it's too much. <laughs> Whew. The MS-18 has a range of 1,350 meters on paper, that's not, a usable range, that's a scientific range, and it is true, but uh, that that's based upon 458,000 candela. The useful range of this flashlight at 100,000 lumens is more in the range of 600 meters, 700 meters. You would be able to see a man walking at that distance. There are very few flashlights out there with active cooling fans and a radiator. This one actually has an input fan and exhaust fan that drives air through a radiator and, and inside that radiator there's vapor filled tubes which utilize e evaporation to cool this flashlight. So if you use this flashlight in, in turbo mode for extended periods of time on high, it's a good idea to cool it down after the flashlight is off. You can utilize the fan mode and that just operates the fan only. You hit that button four times, one, two, three, four, and the fan comes on and you can just set it there. It's like those video projectors. They need a, a period of cooling down. It's a good idea to do that. You know, electronics, one of the things that kills electronics is heat. So you wanna keep an investment like this healthy use that fan mode, especially when this thing has been heated up for a while. Now you'll notice uh, these are all XHP 70.2 LEDs. Uh, each one has its own uh, kind of projector lens, you might say with an orange peel style uh, reflector in it. The beam itself is very, very floody, but also because of the extreme power, very throwy at the same time. So basically you're lighting up easily entire football fields the battery is actually a, a sealed sealed unit. I believe there's, oh man, I don't know how many 21700 batteries located right inside this. And it's a single unit. You can buy more of these from uh, Immolent, uh, a little over $100. And the charging is via a port here. And this charging port cover keeps dust and everything out of it and also doubles as a connection for your strap, shoulder strap. One, one other good idea is when you are storing the MS-18 is just, un, uh, you can lock it out, but also just unscrew the uh, battery port, uh, the battery just a little bit and that disconnects any parasitic drain. Shoulder strap, this is it. So it's branded Immolent and basically all you do is you 
lock it in. It's got a nice little swivel, the swivel um, lock, so it doesn't twist, the whole strap doesn't twist, twist up on you if you didn't put it on just right. And uh, sometimes I find it a little finicky to get it on, but it's not too bad, okay? And then on the top, similarly, you just click it in, find a little slot there, and there you go, all right? I like to sling it over crossbody like this so you can leave it just down at your side and shine it around like this. I mean, this is a heavy flashlight. Um, can't quite remember what the weight is of it. I'll put it down on the screen there for you. But it is, it is a pretty hefty one, not one you want to run around, around with for a long period of time, just, you know, running and gunning or something like that. So is this thing waterproof? Well, not submersible, but all the components in here are, are for the most part waterproof. The radiator itself, think of your car radiator. It, you drive through, you go through driving rain. That doesn't, it actually probably would help cool the, the unit down. The little uh, fans, the input and the exhaust fan, they're, they're fine, they can get wet. IP56 rated, so in other words, this thing can endure direct jets of water or heavy seas. Basically any inclement weather you're in. Just don't try to use it underwater. All right, the overall quality of the MS-18 is quite impressive. Uh, after operating it for quite some time and using it in multiple situations, including rain, no issues. It does get warm. The only thing I wish is that this knurling on the handle was a little bit heavier, so that it was more grip because it is a heavier flashlight. Um, but besides that, I don't have any complaints. The MS-18 is operated perfectly fine. This thing is a beast. It's a professional piece of equipment and it needs to be treated with respect because you can injure people. I mean, I'm sure you can do damage to people's eyes, especially burning. Uh, you have to be careful. Make sure you're using the lockout mode every time. Make a habit of putting it in the lockout mode. When you're storing it, just unscrew the battery pack just a little bit. Now, I know a lot of people are like, ah, really? 100,000 lumens? Is that useful? So the use cases are there. They're more in the professional realm, but not so, not always. You can monetize the MS-18 by actually adding a projector lens. I've seen a guy do it on YouTube and projecting messages or symbols in the clouds or against buildings. And you could charge fees for that. Like so-and-so, will you marry me? Imagine that being on the clouds. I'm sure somebody would pay 250 bucks a pop just for that. So it's possible even to monetize this flashlight. So if you're looking for a real, if you're just an average Joe and you're not using it for a professional reason, and you're just begging for a reason to, mo to, to, to buy it, you might be able to just justify it. I can monetize it, but whatever. If you, if you want the MS-18, I've got a 10% discount code actually uh, in the description below. And if you want to pick it up, I'd appreciate it. That's a way of supporting me. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope I've earned a subscription. And we'll check out some more things next time when we take a look at the most durable products at Well Rigged. Take care.